Hey guys, did you know that how old you look is associated with your overall health and rate of aging? It seems obvious, but it's often overlooked compared to more popular metrics like grip strength and blood-based biomarkers. Studies like this use a panel of experts to judge face age, but since I don't have a panel of experts, I used a face age app called Mirror Mirror to track my facial age across 90 days. I used three simple interventions to see if I could reverse my face age. The Face Age app is from a company called Optimally Me, and while the main focus is on face age, it does come with a breakdown of 12 different scores, including hydration, dark circles, and pores. Every week for six months, I took a baseline picture at the same time of day in the same location and recorded the scores. Now, my baseline skin routine is pretty simple. I do nothing. Uh, I don't have any products. I don't even use soap. Uh, I just wet my face in the shower and give it a bit of a rub. If this sounds like you, uh, be prepared to learn that this is not optimal. While reading up on potential interventions, I had to rule out a few promising ones that would take longer to show results, like retinol and collagen supplements. Instead, I opted for 30 days with a facial cleanser in the morning, 30 days of cleanser plus a daily moisturizer, and finally, twice daily cleansing with moisturizer. I only found a few highly rated products and the brand that popped up in all categories was CeraVe. So I used their day and night moisturizers as well as their cleanser. So for face age, I took it as a difference between that and my actual age. And at the start of the experiment, I was 37 and a half. I took weekly pictures for six months to get a sense of how much variation there might be. And other than a spell over Christmas where I thought I was 29, it seemed relatively stable, often between 34 and 36 with an average of three and a half years younger. During the experiment, I increased it to three pictures a week to give me more data. And in the first 30 days, my face age got worse, moving to only 2.4 years younger. Once I introduced the daily moisturizer, that came down to 4.6 years and twice daily cleansing and moisturizing saw me average five years younger with the most common face age being 34. Unfortunately, none of these differences reached statistical significance, although they came close, meaning we can't say the results weren't random. As far as the individual scores, many had no room for improvement, like acne, pigmentation, and eye bags. I was hoping moisturizing would help with the appearance of lines, skin hydration, and uniformity. I saw an improvement in hydration and lines in phase two, and a reduction in uniformity in phase three, possibly due to the lighting. I also saw my pores get worse in phase one when I first introduced the cleanser. Supposedly this is expected by removing more oil and debris from the surface, it makes them more prominent and initially look worse. Now the app is pretty cool, but it's not perfect. In general, face age estimations can be sensitive to lighting, facial expression, camera angle, and even small differences in photo quality. I would say lighting played a major role despite my best efforts. 8 a.m. in December looks completely different to 8 a.m. in June, not to mention things like cloud cover. Overall, I feel this was a worthwhile experiment, and while the changes weren't statistically significant, I feel there are a few takeaways that can help reduce your face age. I was previously someone who thought that if I exercised and ate well, then my appearance would take care of itself. Having read up on skincare, I now know that isn't true, and at an absolute minimum, uh, lighter skinned individuals should be applying a daily SPF year round for sun protection, because while the sun can't burn you in winter, it can still aid you. Moisturizer acts like a barrier, so if you cleanse but don't moisturize, you're leaving your pores more exposed, and if you moisturize but don't cleanse, you're effectively locking in unclean skin, so you need to cleanse then moisturize for best results. If you're consistently getting less than seven hours of sleep each night, then that should be your priority. Poor sleep reduces collagen production, reduces blood flow, and increases inflammation. And all of this increases the chances of redness, puffiness, and dark circles around the eyes. Finally, this has encouraged me to start taking collagen supplements for both skin, hair, and joints to see if anything improves longer term. If you plan to use a face age app, know that it isn't perfect, but try to control for the variables that you can, like camera angle, facial expression, and the time of day you take the picture. Ultimately, you might not be able to reverse your face age very much, but consistent habits will help you age well in the future. Thanks for watching.